everyone, welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merrifield Education Center. This series is for grade 4. Today we're going to learn about the classifications of animals. But before we start, let's first describe the different characteristics of the animals. Animals like plants are living beings. They can grow and reproduce. But they are mobile, they can move from one place to another. But unlike plants, they are heterotrophs, they cannot make their own food. There are three kinds of heterotrophs the herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores Herbivores are animals that get energy by eating plants, like panda and deer. Carnivores Carnivores are animals that get energy from eating meat, like the hyena and the leopard and the omnivores. Omnivores are animals that get energy by eating plants and meat, like the bodger and the sloth. There are two classifications of animals, the vertebrates and the invertebrates. Vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. They have two different types of body temperature cold-blooded and warm-blooded, and they are divided into five groups. First, let's discuss the difference between cold-blooded and warm-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals are animals that have a body temperature that change with the temperature of the environment, like the fish, frog, and iguana, while warm-blooded animals are animals that can maintain their body temperature even in colder surroundings, like birds and cow. Vertebrates are divided into five groups. First, we have the mammals. Mammals are animals that are warm blooded, like monkey and dolphin. They have hairs, fur, and mammary glands, and they breathe using their lungs. They are known to give birth to a young, except for platypus and echidna that lays eggs. Next are the birds. Bird is also a warm blooded animal, like eagle and spiral. They have feathers, wings, and beak. They also breathe using their lungs, and they lay eggs with hard shell. Next are the amphibians. Amphibians are cold blooded animals like salamander and frog. They have smooth, moist body without scales. Adult amphibians breathe through their lungs and skin, and the young ones breathe through their gills. They also lay eggs, but it's covered with jelly. Next are the reptiles. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals like crocodile and snake. They have hard and dry skinny bodies and breathe through their lungs. They lay eggs with hard bedding shell. Fish. Fish are also cold-blooded animals like sharks and popper fish. They have streamlined bodies, scales, fins, and tails, and they breathe through their gills. They lay eggs that mostly do not have a shell. Now let's go with invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without backbone. Some of them have segmented body. Others have exoskeleton. Some of them have jointed legs. And some have tentacles. And the others have shells. Invertebrates are divided into eight groups. First, we have the annelids. Annelids have segmented body that looks like a ring, like the leech and the roundworm. They breathe through their bodies and have a setae to help them crawl. Next are the roundworm. They have thin and round and segmented bodies like hookworms and pinworms. They are parasitic in nature. They live in a living organism and obtain food from them. Next are the plotworms. They have soft, fat, and segmented bodies like tapeworm and planaria. They are free living but 80% are parasitic like the roundworm. Next are the mollusks. They have soft and segmented bodies and some of them have shells for protection like the snake and the others does not have like the skin. Next are the sponges. They have hollow tubes with pores to capture food, and most of them live in the ocean. Next are the echinoderms. 
echinoderms are marine animals. They are covered with spines. They have radially symmetrical bodies like starfish and sea urchins. Cnidarians Cnidarians have soft bodies and tentacles. Their tentacles have nematocysts that can sting, like jellyfish and sea anemone. Most of the cnidarians are marine animals. The last one are the arthropods. They have more than 1 million kinds and considered to be the largest group of animals on Earth. It is divided into four smaller groups such as insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and myriopods. They have segmented bodies, jointed legs, and exoskeleton. Here are some examples of arthropods in different groups. Insects, like ants and dragonfly. Arachnids, like scorpion and spider. Crustaceans like crab and lobster, and myriopods like millipede and centipede. So, that's what we've learned today. I hope you understand our lesson and see you on our next episode.